Hi, this is Lynn. Today I'm going to show you how to get back into your WordPress backend if you can't get out because of a software or plugin conflict. First, I'll show you here's a test site I have, and here's all my plugins, and they're all activated. And if I wanted to go, if I could not log in at all, what I would do is log into my hosting and then go to File Manager. This is called the C panel or Control Panel. Your files, your WordPress files, are usually here in public HTML. Your plugins and themes are in the WP Content folder. So now I'm going to come over here. I can either right click on it or I can go over here to rename. I'm just going to add an X, say rename it. I'm going to come back over to my website and I'm going to refresh the site. You'll get this notice, but if you click on plugins again, it's, it's just going to be, you don't have any because WordPress can't find the folder since you renamed it something different. So now we're going to go back in and rename it to the name it's supposed to have, which is just plugins. So there that is done. Then we'll come back over here, refresh the site, and you can see they're all here and they're all deactivated. If this is where you can go and activate them one by one and then keep checking your site and see what it looks like. Also, you may have gotten an email from WordPress saying your site went offline. We have this new thing where we let you know if there's a plugin conflict or, or it could be something else. And that's actually what happened to me. So I went and they said this plugin had caused my site to go offline and I couldn't log in at all. So I had to go into my hosting to my cPanel and rename that folder and then I was able to get in and figure out which one it was. Actually, I've, luckily I found out I didn't really need it so I could deactivate it and then eventually I deleted it. So I wanted to show you that's how it's done. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.